What's going on you guys? My name is Zach Hartley and welcome to another weekly watch list video. In this series, I break down for you the stocks that are at the top of my watch list going into Monday morning every single week. So if you get any value, make sure you click that subscribe button and let's jump right in. All right, so let's get started by reviewing some of my past picks. Two weeks ago, I showed you the Shopify chart and this is what it looked like. As you could see, the price was basically sitting on support here right around $1,100. This week, two weeks later, it's up 32.5%. You can see pretty much the same thing with Square. This is the chart that I showed two weeks ago and now it is up 26%. And yes, we did a recap on these stocks last week and they are still doing extremely well. Same thing with TAT. This is the chart that I showed you two weeks ago and today it is up 84% in just 10 days of trading absolutely phenomenal now last week we got to we got to measure the performance from last week so last week i showed you this chart of field trip and really really interesting this chart is now up 43 percent so we are doing very well with this weekly watch list i'm really happy with the results and how well it's going and i know a lot of you are too so if you get any value out of this remember to click that like and subscribe button and if you're interested in seeing my full watch list or access to my discord chat the link is down below i also have a full stock market course that is completely free when you sign up with the link down below so definitely check those out and let's talk about one other thing there is somebody going around that is creating fake youtube accounts that is going out and trying to get people to message them on whatsapp and they are trying to sell you a signal service this is not me i will never ask you for bitcoin i will never talk to you on whatsapp i will not reach out to you because honestly i don't need to so if anything ever feels fishy or sketchy and you see an account like this please report it please ignore the comments or send them a picture of your poo in the morning do something to make this guy stop because it's absolutely terrible. Every other uh, stock market YouTuber is dealing with it as well. YouTube has a major problem with this. And so if you see somebody that is giving you a WhatsApp number or asking you for Bitcoin or anything like that, if it has my name on it, it is not me. The only services that I offer are a free stock market course, a Discord chat, and whatever links are on my website. If it's not there, it's not me. So please please help me out and report these accounts because it's absolutely terrible for the community and for anybody that's getting scammed by this. It's absolutely awful because it comes back to me. So I really don't like it. Now, this week, let's start talking about the markets. First thing I want to talk about is the indexes. And as you can see, the NASDAQ set an all-time high this week, which is absolutely amazing. Same thing with the Dow Jones and the S&P 500. All of the indices are doing extremely well. So I'm really, really happy with how the market is doing. You can see the S&P right here. We hit a high of basically 3,930 really really nice and that was actually set on Friday so we closed pretty much near an all-time high which is absolutely amazing and when you look at COVID I relayed the seven-day moving average line on this chart so we can see where the U.S. is actually doing extremely well in handling COVID over the last kind of month and a half compared to how they were doing before so that is really really nice to see and it is very optimistic hopefully this trend continues now let's start talking about the stocks for this week as you know I have a position in Apple I own options in Apple because I am expecting Apple to break out of this 140 level and move higher. If it doesn't and it breaks through this trend line, I'm going to exit that trade. But as of right now, the trade and the pattern is still holding up. So I'm still holding that position. I do expect Apple to move higher over the next few weeks. So if you're interested in getting into Apple, I do think it's a good time and you can get out. As soon as this trend line breaks, that means that something else is happening. So you've got a very nice and easy stop loss on this trade. The next stock that I really like is Amazon. As you can see here, Amazon hit a high of around 35.50 back here in September and since then it has established higher and higher lows all the way across every single low is higher and higher and as of right now it is sitting on support at the moment. And so my expectation is Amazon is going to move higher over the next few months here. And I think it's going to break through 3550. And so if you can buy in at the bottom of this sort of channel right here and you can buy it on support, I think that's a great entry position. And again, if this trend line or if this channel support breaks, then you get out of the trade and you wait for a better opportunity to get back in. So I really like the Amazon chart right now. I also like the very good butchers chart right now. As you can see, we hit a high of $9.50. I sold out at $9.50. I wrote it up for my I think around four dollars so i made an excellent trade here i sold out and now i'm considering getting back in here because i think we have some major support right around this six dollar and fifty cent level so i am considering taking a new position in very good butchers i see it as a short to medium term trade i really like the company i like the press releases they're putting out there growing exponentially fast and i like the product as well so everything about very good butchers i like right now i think it has support at 650 if it falls below this kind of 575 level here you can get out of it take the loss buy back in lower but as of 
active right now, I do think it shows great value. Now, the next company I want to look at is in the same space. It's called Modern Meat Incorporated. M-E-A-T is the ticker. And as you can see, this 430, 450 level here has acted as major, major resistance. Once here, back in basically July, once in August, once in September, kind of here in October, it has tested this 350 level. And again, over the last few months. So if we can break through 350 or 450, sorry, I think it's an excellent opportunity. I also like it right here because just like Amazon, it is making continuously higher lows. You can draw this trend line that's connecting it. And you can see that every single low that is forming on this stock is higher than the last one. And that is a bullish sign It is slowly moving up. And if you can buy it on one of those lows, you can take advantage of that small move higher. And if it breaks out, then you're in a very, very good position. So I do like modern meat as well. The next one that I want to point out to you is actually an ETF. This is the psychedelic ETF that is held by Horizons. The ticker symbol is PSYK. And this ETF basically holds a variety of different psychedelic companies. And so I am super bullish about this space. I am actively invested in this space. I hold three different companies. However, if you're not interested in getting into specific companies and doing the research and picking and choosing, I think this is a fantastic option because it will give you a long-term diversified psychedelic portfolio you only need to trade it once it costs you barely anything to get into the stock it does have a fairly high performance fee on it however this is probably one of the uh most high risk, high return ETFs out there. It moved by over 8% um, at one point this week, this day right here, I think it was Thursday, it moved up by over 8% and you just don't see that kind of movement in regular ETFs. That's why it has a little bit of a higher performance fee on it. So if you're interested in getting into the space, but you don't want to pick and choose the companies, this is an excellent option for you and I highly recommend it. Now, if you are interested in picking and choosing the companies, this is the one that I'm super interested in right now. This is Revive Therapeutics. I'm also interested in Field Trip. I pointed that out to you last week it's up 40 percent right now so we're doing pretty good i'm interested in revive therapeutics though because as of right now it's got some pretty major support around 50 cents it acted as resistance right here and now we have just broken out of this basically trend line this kind of downward descending triangle right here we had some nice some really nice moves on wednesday thursday friday we've got increased volume and we've also got a macd crossover and the rsi looks not too bad right now as well so i'm very bullish on revive therapeutics as well as the entire psychedelics industry all three of my holdings are doing very very well right now so i'm very happy with that when it comes to the electric vehicle industry charge point is a company that i've traded in and out of several times and right now i see a little bit of a descending triangle you can see from a high of 49 48 right here we have basically retested 35 a couple of times we're trading pretty close to 35 right now we're at just under 38 dollars right now but we tested it on friday and if this continues i might buy in around 35 and set a stop loss at 30 or 32 for a move higher because i think there is a good opportunity here however if we break down through 35 i'm probably going to exit any position that i take the next ev company that i really like is hillion i like the business model i like the company i like the management team i like everything about this company however i have lost money on two trades on this company now so i'm a little hesitant to get back in i want to see a little bit of momentum here but i do like the company i think it has major support at around 15 dollars here on thursday we had a massive move higher unfortunately we couldn't stay above 19 dollars. that's sort of the threshold in my mind is that 19 20 level i'd like to see us close above that and stay above it for a day or two and then i might take a position in it Hillion is at the top of my watch list but i don't think on monday i'll be making a trade or monday tuesday i want to give it a little bit of room to get, gain some momentum and start to uh, make some upward movements here but it is definitely on my watch list for something that i'm willing to enter because i think it has major support at 15 dollars. next company i want to talk about is tesla the reason i want to point this out is it's one of my favorite companies i'm not invested in it in my small account right now but i am in my long-term portfolio and as of right now i see it trading within a channel and it has some support at 800 dollars however if this $800 level fails, I think Tesla could fall a little bit further. I think we could see a bit of a correction on Tesla. I do think it is um, very expensive right now. You don't want to bet against Elon Musk, but um, we'll see how things go over Tesla over the next little while. I would set a stop loss on it if you are trading this and not long-term holding it. Now, if you guys are interested in learning more about how I analyze these charts, look at the financials and look at these companies, then definitely consider signing up for my stock market course. Like I said, it's totally free. When you sign up, put the link down below. It'll give you two weeks free trial on Skillshare and you get access to the entire platform. So you can do my course. You can do anybody else's course for totally free for two weeks. Cancel your subscription at any point and you won't ever be charged. I think it's about $20 per month. 
so it's not that much anyways but the course has over nine hours of content in it there's over 21 actually 2300 students now have gone through the course there's over 115 plus reviews for you to take a read through and the link is in the description if you want access to my discord and my full watch list where I basically relay all of my information all my charts and I'm building a community there's also a link down below to join my discord chat and in summary the in industries that I'm invested in right now are drones psychedelics graphene technology and food I think all of those industries are growing fast right now and have exponential room to grow so I am heavily invested in those industries right now and if you guys get any value out of this video any of my stock picks or anything that I'm doing please consider hitting that like and subscribe button leave a comment down below and I will try and get back to you thank you so much for the support and I will see you